My name is Simon Corns. I'm the headmaster of Brighton College, Abu Dhabi. The college comprises three elements, uh, the pre-prep, the prep and seniors, and we have pupils from the age of 3 to 18. My colleagues, the heads of those three schools, will talk about their own schools separately. But let me tell you something about the overarching ethos of the college, which unites all three, and we are all in the same building. The ethos boils down most conveniently, perhaps, to three distinct concepts. Curiosity, confidence, and kindness. And from those, just about everything else we do flows, and I think you can trace a link to those three things in absolutely all of our activities and lessons. Let's look at curiosity. Without curiosity, uh, there is no learning. We have to use that natural curiosity that children arrive with when they're young and build on it and enable them to feel rewarded for it and see that they're learning and becoming more confident, which brings us to the next concept. Confidence, the right sort of confidence, not arrogance or cockiness, but confidence in oneself as a human being is something we try to promote. And lots of opportunities are given for pupils to gain their confidence, whether it's in lessons, which is where it tends to start, or on the sports field, or in music, or drama, uh, and in countless other activities that we do where they gather confidence and, and relish uh, learning and working with other pupils. This is really important. And that, in turn, only works because of our default position, which is to promote kindness at every possible opportunity. Hello, my name's Emma Parsons, and I'm the head of senior school at Brighton College, Abu Dhabi. Now, whether you are transferring from overseas or transferring from another school in the United Arab Emirates, welcome and I really look forward to meeting you. Our aim in the senior school is to foster curiosity, kindness and confidence so that when our pupils leave Brighton College Abu Dhabi, they are the best they can be. So let me tell you a little more about the senior school. In years 7 and 8, our children follow the rigorous common entrance curriculum. They have examinations at the end of year 9 and this prepares them well for future studies. In year 9, the children follow a bespoke curriculum, but they actually start the GCSEs in science and maths. But please don't worry, if your child is joining us in either years 8 or year 10, we will make sure they're given materials and support to catch up. In years 10 and 11, our pupils follow the GCSE programme. We offer 21 different subjects for the pupils to study. Year on year, our results have been exceptional. Under the guidance of our fantastic teaching staff and due to the pupils' own hard work and determination, if your child is joining in the sixth form, then they have their own separate common room and study areas. We offer 24 different subjects in years 12 and 13, and we offer support and guidance so your child can apply to the best universities and the best courses to suit their talents and skills. We run an incredible range of house events throughout the year, and we want all children to become involved. We run house drama, house shout, and our sports day is held as a whole college event at the prestigious New York University campus. In the senior school there are about 800 pupils. Our school day starts at 7.30 with tutor time and then there are eight lessons every day. The school day officially ends at 3pm but after this time and during lunch times there is an absolutely extensive range of activities that your child can become involved in from drama to arts to music to academic societies. There is something for everybody. Good day to you parents. Um, my name is Andrew Noakes and I am the head of the prep school here at Brighton College Abu Dhabi. The prep school is for children aged between 7 and 11. And we refer to those academic year groups as years 3 to year 6. My job is to tell you a little bit about the prep school and hopefully answer some of the many questions that you might have. Let me talk a little bit about some of the nitty gritty and also give you an overview about why we're structured the way that we are. So we are a co-ed school and each of our classes uh, has a maximum capacity of 25 boys and girls. There are six classes in each year group 
So if you're doing the maths, that will tell you that there are 150 children in each year group. If this feels like quite a large number to you, then I hope as I go on and explain how the prep school is structured and the things that we do, you will see that actually it's very easy and understandable how a big school can have a very small school feel. And that's important to us. And that is why we do things the way that we do. So each class has a class teacher and that class teacher is responsible for teaching the majority of the subjects. They're also sometimes referred to as a homeroom teacher. Those teachers will teach English, science, a topic which includes history and geography as well as PHSME as well. Those same class teachers teach maths, although across the year group we set according to a child's understanding to give them the best chance of developing their mathematical there are also subject specialists teaching as well. Depending on the year group, these may vary, but across those four years, as well as offering Arabic, we also offer French and Mandarin. So a child is learning three languages here at Brighton College Abu Dhabi Prep School. There is music for every child. In some year groups, there's discrete ICT as well. In year six, children have the opportunity to learn science and use the school's science labs. So they're taught by secondary school science teachers, giving them a fantastic opportunity to start and develop at a young age. Also to carry out their experiments in purpose-built laboratories as well, rather than just the classroom. There are also a number of other factors that I believe make Brighton College Abu Dhabi a very special school. Every pupil gets the chance to take part in a school production every year. There are numerous CCAs that take place in lunchtime and also after school, ranging from sailing to debating uh, to arts and crafts and languages. All of these things are so important, very important factors in helping children to develop in a safe environment those traits and those characteristics which we know to be so important. Teamwork, resilience, perseverance, empathy, speaking in public. So they're very much at the heart of what we do. We also provide children with the opportunities for responsibility. For example, a child can stand and be a member of school council. They can be a canteen captain as they move up through the school of prefect, a house captain, or even head boy or head girl. Every child also has the opportunity to be a part of a house. There are four houses within the prep school and they should be looked upon as a family within a family. It's really lovely to know that there are seven-year-olds in the school who are friends with 11-year-olds because they all share something in, com in common. They take part in fun competitions as well and I mentioned house days earlier. Fantastic opportunities for children to come together and realize how much more they can do. We like parents to be involved too and we have fantastic parent volunteers who help out at events and who listen to children read and give of their time to make it so much more of an experience for everyone. And we also have parent ambassadors to be ambassadors for the prep school. My name's Kelly Mansbridge and I'm proud to be the head of pre-prep. At pre-prep, we want our children to love learning. And that's what we try and instill from day one. Confident, happy, safe learners. So pre-prep is nursery, FS2, year one and year two. Our nursery children have a staggered start so that we can get to know them very, very well and ensure that we meet their needs and ensure that they make the best possible progress that they can. Our nursery and FS2 children have um, access to indoor and outdoor learning. They have a structured day, but with lots of free flow learning for them to choose what they want to do based on their wants and needs. Homeschool links are really important to us too. Your child will definitely learn more if you are involved in their learning. 
and we have many opportunities for you to come into school and take part in activities and also to take part in your child's learning and for them to show you what they have learnt, what they can do and what they are proud of. Our very positive behaviour ethos in pre-prep is based around the five C's. And if you came to our school, the children would be able to tell you all of these and be able to demonstrate them to you, which is much more important. Our five C's are curiosity, cooperation, common sense, courtesy and consideration. In my experience, happy children are more likely to thrive than children who for any reason at all are unhappy. So everything we can do to be kind to each other and to teach people where they've gone wrong if ever they are unkind really helps to ensure that the community as a whole is a happy, dynamic, vibrant place in which we're all really proud uh, to work.